Studies at Lambda Laboratory currently cover low-density experiments of magnetized non-thermal plasma, MHD accelerators with various shapes, ionizer, stream, streamer guidance, and plasma wall confinement system. The activity of the French Lambda Laboratory created in 2007 as a continuation of a long story was starting point lies at the end of the 60s. In the Institute of Applied Mechanics of Marseille, a small team of researchers worked on MHD power plant. This one converted the energy of a shock-driven hot gas flow into electricity. Due to its high electrical conductivity, 3000 sieverts per meter, and high velocity, the interaction parameter was so large that the experiment produced a front shock wave in a constant cross-section MHD channel. Then an idea arose. If it is possible to produce a shock wave without any material obstacle, would it be possible to prevent the birth of shock waves around an object cruising in a gaze at supersonic velocity. On this picture, we can see the shock-driven wind tunnel in installed in the Institute of Mechanic Defeat of Marseille in the middle of the 60s. Here you have the combustion chamber uh, filled by hydrogen and oxygen plus helium. Next you see the tube, the gun, six meter long, constant cross section, five centimeter per five centimeter. It was filled by low pressure argon. When the combustion was ended, it opened a metallic diaphragm that you can see on the left and the shock wave was running along the tube breaking a mylar diaphragm at the end. Uh, here you see the MHD converter with its two coils. The length of the converter was quite short only 10 cm long. The arrows shows the two coins giving a two Tesla magnetic field given by the discharge of condensators and uh, in the intensity was switched by ignition connecting the 54,000 amperes current. On this uh, slide, you see the schema of the uh, shock driven wind tunnel. The test duration was 100 microseconds. Again, on left, the combustion chamber, the metallic diaphragm, a trigger the constant cross-section tube, six meter long, filled by low pressure argon, the Mylar diaphragm, and the vacuum tank. The pump, argon bottle, manometer, pump, condensator bank, igniter, two Tesla B field coil and the Faraday MHD converter. We achieved two kinds of experiments. In one, we produced energy from the kinetic energy of the gas, and in the second one, uh, acceleration was achieved injecting energy from a secondary uh, condensator bank that you can see on the slide. 
Well, here you have the parameter of the argon flow. The gas temperature was 10,000 degrees Kelvin. The velocity was 2,750 meters per second. And the pressure of the case was one bar. On this slide, you see the hot, fast argon, compressed argon, quite short, only uh, 20 centimeters long. And here we build a Faraday converter. The Faraday converter is made of two components. The channel, you can see the two coils. And you had segmented electrode converter. Here the electrode pairs are connected to loads. And here the electrodes are in place. Below, you can see the induced electric field, V cross B. This electric field produces current electric current, J, J being the current density uh, per square meter. And this current density creates a volume force, G cross B, that slows down the fluid. In, uh, in this, this middle of the 60s, there were a lot of uh, power plants over the world, but the low electrical conductivity of the, these big devices was too small to extract a lot of uh, atalpy from the fluid and to slow down the gas, really. So it, was, it, it can be uh, expressed uh, with the value of the interaction parameter. In uh, the other uh, installation, the interaction parameter were low. And in ours, it was high because we had a very high electrical conductivity due to the high temperature of argon. Well, here you have the classical pattern of the Mach lines, Mach lines uh, which are real when the flow is in supersonic condition. And uh, from left to right, you see how this Mach lines change with the as, uh, as fast, as velo the faster the velocity, the smaller is the uh, Mach angle alpha. Well, every, all these things are well known. Well, when we work with the um, MHD Faraday converter as a generator of electricity, the fluid is slowed down, the bore is extracted, and the Mach lines are strengthened, strengthened up. Well, we operate the converter as an accelerator, we inject power using our con condensator bank, the fluid is accelerated and the Mach lines are bent. Now, if we go back to the generator, uh, if the interaction parameter is high enough, the change in the Mach line will be so strong that a shock wave occurs. And the birth of a shock wave is caused by the accumulation of the Mach lines. And uh, we were surprised in our experiments to see a, a plain shock wave installed at the inlet of the uh, generator due to this very, very strong interaction parameter. Well, uh, this shock wave was evidenced by interfer interferometric imaging in 1965 at the Institute of Mechanic de Fluid of Marseille, with which no longer exists now. Let's point an important uh, feature of the, such experiment. Lorentz forces are very efficient to act on the fluid. Uh, GB are volume forces, and these volume forces can be very high. Take, for an example, 
one ampere per square centimeter and a B field of one tesla. Look at the force. It corresponds to one ton per cubic meter. Well, acting on air in normal condition, it provides an acceleration of 1000 g. So uh, we open on a different fluid mechanic in which the pressure and the velocity and the pattern of the fluid is completely controlled by the Lorentz forces. And uh, the inertial forces could be neglected. Well, uh, many years later, we tried to restart this research and to uh, see if a shockwave could be cancelled. But we had no uh, shock-driven wind tunnel available, so we shifted to hydraulic simulation. Hydraulic simulation are very uh, good simulation for shockwave. When I was a student, computers did not exist, and uh, we used this hydraulic simula simulator to understand the behavior of shock waves. Uh, when you have a, a free surface fluid, if you move the bob of, of line, you make circular waves, and the circular waves expand at a velocity which is the equivalent of a sound velocity. Well, now if you move the source of the oscillation, if you move the bob at a velocity slower than the velocity of the circular waves, nothing happens. But on the right, if you move the bob at a velocity higher than the velocity of the surface wave, then you produce waves which are the equivalent to the Mach line of the supersonic flows. Here I, I uh, point the analogy between, uh, on the right, the uh, flat uh, shock waves installed uh, around a flat uh, wing moving at supersonic velocity. In A, you have front wave, in B, bottom wave, and on the left, the wave around the hull of a ship are similar to the front and bottom shock waves, which form around a flat wing cruising in air at supersonic velocity. So the question is, can we cancel or prevent the shock wave around a body immersed in a supersonic gas flow by suitable action of a G-bay field. So if we transport, if we move this problem in hydraulic velocity, we will consider a device with a free surface flow that you can see at the top. This, the liquid is water plus acid to get enough electrical conductivity. And uh, we used MHD cylindrical accelerator. Well, the principle of the cylindrical accelerator can be seen on the feature below. The cylinder is just a solid magnet with two electrodes, and these electrodes produce a discharge in water, and this current density combined with the magnetic field produce Lorentz force that tends to accelerate the fluid. But as you can see on the picture on the right and below, in the vicinity of the electrodes, the fluid is accelerated. But in the front part, left, you see it slowed down. So it gives continuous and soft slowing down of the fluid. Well, this picture shows uh, this cylinder MHD accelerator working and how it sucks the water on left. The picture is not so good, but you can see that the turbulent wake is cancelled completely. So the central question was, is it possible to move a body in a gaze at supersonic velocity without noise. The noise has two causes. 
One is the uh, shock waves, but the second one is a turbulent wake. And if we cancel the turbulent wake, we cancel this source of noise. Well, here we return to this cylinder object placed in a free surface fluid flow in, uh, at a velocity higher than the velocity of uh, the surface waves on the top. What happens when no Lorentz force are applied? You have strong waves, front wave and bottom wave, and a turbulent wave. And the below, you have profile. Profile. You can see in black the electrodes, and I have represented the level of the water. Well, uh, if we want to act efficiently on this flow, we have to achieve. Uh, interaction parameter that would be large enough. This is the expression of the interaction parameter. If we use 8 cm per second flow, the computation gives that we need a 2 Tesla field. We cannot play with the value of the current density because of electrolysis. Electrolysis will completely destroy the experiment. In 1976, we achieved uh, the cancellation of the front wave by Lorentz forces, as you can see on this picture, uh, below the large value of the interaction parameter, left the uh, force field, and right uh, the results. Of course, we didn't cancel the um, bottom wave, but the front wave was completely cancelled. And as you can see on the figure on the right and below, the level of the water was depressed. Uh, if we think about an analogy with gaze, it means that if you act on the fluid uh, with uh, Lorentz forces strong enough, not only you cancel the shock wave, but you can create a depression in front of the machine. Well, uh, this was presented six years later by Jean Pierre Petit in the International MSD meeting of Moscow in 1983. And uh, this trip was totally paid by uh, Jean Pierre Petit. Well, uh, we, you will not be surprised that. Uh, this uh, kind of research, we are not uh, accepted with enthusiasm by the scientific community because of self-connection with uh, undesired phenomena. <laughs> <laughs>